Mark, are drug-herb interactions a concern? Well, there's a good basis for at least initial concern about mm -hmm. the potential for herb-drug interactions because okay. they do exist, although I think after reviewing this subject for over 10 years, I think in many cases they may be uh, overemphasized uh, to uh -huh. the point beyond what is uh, really a public health issue. Let me explain. All right. Initially, about 10 years ago or so, when the, as the herb industry and the herbal acceptance in the, in the culture got bigger and bigger, people in the pharmacy and medical community and some of us even in the herbal community started saying, okay, with all mm -hmm. these people taking herbs, mm -hmm. some surveys are showing that about a third of the adults taking herbs are also taking, taking some kind of over-the-counter or prescription medication or both. Right concomitantly or at the same time as they're taking the herbs, which leads to at least the conjecture that, at least mm. speculatively speaking, there must be the chance for some kind of interaction between mm -hmm. the herbs and these drugs that might in some way be either negative, injurious, or adverse in some way. That's speculative. That would, and that's theoretically uh, plausible. Okay. There have been random reports of some herb drug interactions as well as then there's been reports from laboratory tests in vitro, which is in glass test tubes mm -hmm. and, and petri dishes where they'll take an herbal extract and some kind of drug and see how they might be in, interact in some kind of a model for some kind of a human mm -hmm. uh, uh, physiological system. Okay. The problem with the in vitro studies is that they really don't Mm. accurately and adequately approximate what happens when you take something orally, it goes through the gut and breaks down in the liver, what they right. call first pass metabolism, and then how those chemicals from the herbs reach the, the, the bloodstream in whatever form and mm -hmm. level. And it's really hard to sometimes approximate and, or even equate the in vitro studies to actual human experience. So wow. even though some of the earlier research, okay. and still, some of the research is still coming out, says this herb may interact with this drug, it's mm -hmm. based on in vitro research, and again, that's still several levels away from right. human reality. At the same time, however, we can't dismiss the fact that herbs can affect the metabolism of drugs, mm -hmm. either in a way that's positive or negative. Uh, and foods do that too. Herbs are just, and legally in this country, the United States, herbs are regulated as dietary supplements, which means that they are basically technically foods, not drugs. Okay. Let's look for starters at grapefruit. 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 I mean, everybody should know by now that grapefruit and or grapefruit juice affects the metabolism of many, probably 50% of conventional pharmaceutical drugs. Mm. What the grapefruit does, it basically inhibits a certain enzyme in the gut or the liver that basically normally breaks down the part of the drug. Mm -hmm. So by inhibiting this enzyme, you're increasing the serum levels in your bloodstream of that drug. So taking grapefruit with your breakfast when you're taking your medications can increase the efficacy, increase wow. the potency okay. of those medicines. St. John's wort, the popular herb St. John's wort, yes, which clinical trials show they'll actually work effectively to help people mm -hmm. with mild to moderate cases of depression, Correct. has the opposite effect of grapefruit. It basically upregulates some of those uh, enzymes instead of mm -hmm. down, which means that they act in a more stronger way, reducing the activity of those drugs ultimately, and so you have people taking drugs with St. John's wort and the drugs don't have their full effect, if they have effect at all, because they've been metabolized more by these enzymes that St. John's wort is pushing up, so to speak. Mm. Opposite of grapefruit. So if you want to increase the activity of your drug, so to speak, or take less mm -hmm. and get the effect, you would take grapefruit. If you want to reduce the activity of your drug, which you don't want to do, then why take them? Mm -hmm. uh, St. John's wort would do that. Not all drugs, but about 50% of our pharmaceutical drugs are acted on by these enzymes, mm -hmm. uh, these specific enzymes that are affected by St. John's wort. So people should be careful about taking St. John's wort extract or St. John's wort tablets mm -hmm. when they're taking pharmaceutical drugs. And if they're not sure which drugs interact with St. Mm -hmm. John's wort, they should consult their pharmacist and hopefully he or she will know the answer to that.